Good morning friends. Welcome to this fortnightly market outlook webinar. I am Devash Vakil from HDFC Securities. So agenda for this presentation is that first I will take you through key developments in India and abroad and also share how indices have performed over the last fortnight and last one month. Then my colleague Vinay will share his views from the technical charts. After that Nandish will come and share perspective from derivatives market. On the occasion of Gandhi Jayanti, we'll look at a famous quote by Gandhiji on customers and then we'll conclude this webinar. So let's straight away jump into the content. So key development of the last fortnight happened in the UK. There was a crisis of confidence in UK bonds and the central bank had to step in to stabilize credit market by launching a unlimited bond buying program. The act of buying those bonds led to some calmness in the market. And global markets breath a sigh of relief. US markets as a whole have fallen by 9 to 10 percent in the month of September. So when the crisis happened the UK bond yields reached as high as 5 percent then the government had to announce the bond buying program and it has fallen now but this remains a key area of concern. So as you can see from this chart the US markets have fallen and they've already broken the June lows a severe downfall is witnessed in the US markets. A silver line in the dark clouds is that the, whenever the US markets close lower by 25 percent in a year as happened in 1937 or 1974, 2002 and 2008, the next year is better and there is a rebound. This year we still have one more quarter to go and after that pain we can look forward to a better 2023. The key reason why US markets and other markets are falling is because of the higher interest rates and those higher interest rates are on the back of higher commodity prices and higher inflation. Now commodities are coming down and that's a good news for countries like India. Here we can see in this chart that Brent crude oil has fallen from 120 levels to back to 85 levels. Emerging market as a whole have now corrected from a high of 2025 times earnings they have now fallen to nine times earning and they are becoming quite attractive. So this is also likely to attract some capital into emerging markets. Our currency has fallen to levels of 82. So it is weak but compared to other parts of the world our currency has also outperformed and the forex reserves which we still have give some comfort that there will not be a very large drawdown. Let's look at the calendar. This is a month of festivals. First week of October, the China is closed. India will also celebrate Diwali in the fourth week of October. The US market is closed on the 10th of October. So now let's look at the how benchmarks have behaved. So as you can see from the screen, the global markets are quite weak. Over the last fortnight, the markets have come down between 7 to 9 percent, while Indian markets are down between 2.5 to 3 percent. Over the last one month, international markets have fallen between 9 to 13 percent, while Indian markets are down hardly 3 to 4 percent. The Indian small cap indices have actually outperformed the global markets and Indian market as well. So smaller stocks are outperforming the larger one. Small is indeed beautiful for the Indian stocks. Now let's look at the sectors. So healthcare, FMCG and technology are the hiding place where over the last one month investors have parked the capital. The worst performing sector continues to remain the metal and the power sector, oil and gas reality where about 8 to 10 percent of fall we have seen over the last one month. Right now let me hand it over to my colleague Vinay who will share his views from the technicals. Over to you Vinay. Hello friends, myself Vinay Rajani, Senior Technical and Derivative Analyst at HDFC Securities. Friends, I will take you through the technical developments on Indian benchmark indices. I will also cover the mid cap and small cap analysis and ultimately we will come to the conclusion uh, for the markets where are we headed and we'll uh, share the important support and resistance levels for the Nifty and Bank Nifty as well. So let us start with the analysis. So this is Nifty daily chart 
now we all know that we uh, saw a significant recovery in the nifty on friday's session nifty found support at a 230 days exponential moving average why we are taking 233 days exponential moving average because it's a fibonacci number and history we saw that this number acted as a strong reversal point for the moving averages so that is why this time we are giving respect to this and we saw that on friday's session nifty found support around this area and saw a significant recovery now nifty also ended up with the bullish angle fixed candlestick pattern on the daily chart which is having a bullish implication for the short term but if you were to go by the oscillators and indicators as you can see over here this are these are the dmi rsi and MACD indicators which are still in a downtrend so confidence is not there uh, somehow we saw a recovery but indicators oscillators are not suggesting but we have to give respect to price first and then we need to uh, analyze the indicators so um, there is a support around friday's low which happens to be around the 16 16700 uh, unless we see a level below that we need to remain bullish for the nifty now let us look at bank nifty analysis this is a bank nifty daily chart short term chart now uh, as we all know that bank nifty bounced back by more than 1000 points on friday's session and if we were to go by the moving averages actually bank nifty found support at its 100 days exponential moving average which is also an important parameter to watch out for and strong recovery was witnessed on friday's session now where are we headed in the bank nifty so there are multiple resistance which are looming for the bank nifty the first resistance comes in at this trend line if you adjoin this trend line on the daily chart which gives a strong resistance around 39,100 in the spot index if you were to go by the retracement levels this 38.2 percent retracement of this entire fall which we have seen which was around 10 percent fall 38.2 percent of this fall comes in around 39,090 odd level so this upward sloping trend line on the daily chart and 38.2 percent retracement for the bank nifty gives strong resistance in this um, level around 39,100 if we if we see bank nifty crossing the, uh, that level the next resistance for the bank nifty comes in at 39600 which is 50% retracement and after that we can see a nifty marching towards the 61.8% target which is placed around 40150 levels so yes there are the bullish developments on the short term charts but there are also our resistances we need to track closely and we have to book profits at higher level also as far as support is concerned uh, bank nifty support is seen at 37400 and unless this support is violated on sustainable sustainable basis we need to remain on bank nifty as well let's look at broader market development this is a nifty mid cap 100 weekly chart and this shows the uh, medium term trend for the nifty mid cap index and uh, this is a lower tops which uh, if we were to adjoin this lower tops and draw a trend line this trend line was broken out couple of weeks back in the in the starting month of the uh, september and after that we saw a nice fall of buying uh, coming in now for last three weeks this retracement has come in and again the throwback uh, theory comes out and this acted as a support as well this time so last week this uh, nifty mid cap index has formed a bullish hammer candlestick pattern which is bullish in nature so unless we see nifty mid cap index breaking the previous week's low we need to remain bullish for the mid cap index as well so friends now i would like to share positive as well as negative developments on indian benchmark charts and we'll come to the conclusion what we need to do for next fortnight so let us directly jump to the bullish rationals first so bullish engulfing candlestick pattern was seen on the nifty daily chart which was around 233 days exponential moving average which is a positive development long term upward sloping trend line support placed in the range of 16650 to 16700 is well intact and is not violated yet so good sign 50% retracement of the entire rally seen from 15,200 to 18,100 offers the strong support at 16,640 odd levels. Nifty mid cap and small cap indices have made hammer candlestick pattern on the strong trend line support on the weekly chart. Bank Nifty has found support on its 100 days exponential moving average and bounced back sharply. Breadth of the market has remained strong recently. Sector specific rotation is going on which is suggesting a training opportunities would be there in on the long side in the coming days. Now let us uh, discuss some bearish development as well for the benchmark indices. 
Now indicators and oscillators on the daily chart still indicates a bearish trend for Nifty and Bank Nifty. So um, though we have seen a nice pullback on Friday session, but uh, the trend confirm confirmation is not coming from the indicators and oscillators on the Nifty daily and weekly charts. Lower top and lower bottom formation on the Nifty daily chart is there. So we need to remain cautious considering this technical evidence. There are many resistances looming around at some distance from the current level which can limit the upside for the indices in the coming days. Sustainability of uptrend is not yet confirmed. So as I said that many indicators oscillators still showing weakness in the trend and uh, there are lower top lower bottoms also on nifty daily chart. So global market setup is not that convincing. They have been passing through the uh, bad times and uh, the outperformance which we have shown need to be supported by the global markets as well in the coming days. So friends, let us conclude finally. Uh, so we are advising remaining long with the stop loss of 16,700 in Nifty. Resistance for Nifty is seen in the range of 17,200 to 17,300. Above 17,300 Nifty could extend the rise towards the next resistance of 17,600. Remain long in Bank Nifty with a stop loss of 37,400. Resistance for Bank Nifty is seen at 39,100 odd levels. Above 39,100 Bank Nifty could rise towards the next resistance of 39,600 and 40,100. So traders are advised to hold long positions with the appropriate stop loss mentioned as here. However, on the upside, there are multiple resistances looming on the index chart. So booking profit at higher level index is advisable. However, stock and sector specific bullish move in the end trading opportunities would, would be continue to be there in the coming days. So that is all from my side and over to you, Devarsh Bhai. Now over to you, Nandish, for derivatives. Good morning, friends. I am Nandish Shah, Senior Derivative and Technical Analyst at HDFC Securities. Today I am going to discuss how the market is looking from the derivative side. So let's straight away jump to the presentation. On the first day of the October series, we have seen long buildup in the Nifty futures, where we have seen 7% rise in the open interest with Nifty rising by 1.64%. On the other end, we have seen short covering in the Bank Nifty futures, where we have seen 1% fall in the open interest with Bank Nifty rising by 2.6%. Coming to the option data, we have seen Nifty open interest put call ratio rose sharply on Friday to 1.22 level uh, as against 1.02 levels on Thursday. This sharp rise in the put call ratio is largely on the back of put writing at 16,700 to 16,800 levels, indicating 16,700 to 16,800 level to act as a strong support uh, going forward. On the other end, Nifty is likely to find an immediate resistance in the vicinity of 17,200 to 17,300 levels where calls have been written. So as you can see from the option distribution chart, we have seen put trading at 16,700 and 16,800 level, levels which in, in turn indicates 16,700 to 16,800 range to act as a strong support going forward while 17,200 to 300 level will act as a, act as a resistance. Now coming to the FIS data. Uh, we have seen long build up by the FIs in the index future segment on Friday, where the net bought was rupees 756 crore with their open interest going up by 1879 contracts. FIs net long to short ratio in the index future has risen to 0.19 level as against 0.15 level on Thursday. This is the lowest long to short ratio by FIs in index future since 4 July 2022. In other words, it indicates that out of FIs total position in the index futures, 84% is on the short side while 16% is on the long side. While this indicates FIs are net short aggressively, history suggests that their long to short ratio has reached to an oversold level and if market were to move higher from here on, we might see a sharp short covering by FIs in the coming days. So as you can see from this chart, uh, their net long to short ratio has always bounced back from 0 0.2 0 0.3, 0 0.3 levels. Here in June, mid-June, when market made a bottom around 15,200 levels, uh, FI's long to short ratio bounced back from 0.2 levels. Even in early part of July, it bounced back from 0.3 levels and now it again reached uh, to 0.2 levels. So this data indicates that we might see a short covering by the FI's uh, in the index future segment uh, during the coming days. Now coming to the outlook for Nifty. Uh, Long buildup in the Nifty futures on Friday, uh, rise in put call ratio on the back of put trading at 16,700 to 16,800 levels. Long buildup by the FIs in the index futures segment on Friday, 
their long to short ratio as we discussed earlier it has reached to an oversold level and which in turn indicates there is a higher possibility of short covering from their side and also fi's long position positions in the index option segment on friday the net worth 31000 calls and shorted 27500 contracts of index puts which in turn indicates that uh, there is a limited downside in the nifty from here on so all these indicators indicate that uh, downside is limited in the nifty and one should remain optimistic for the market for the coming days therefore our advice to remain bullish and hold longs in nifty with the stop loss of 16700 levels on the higher side 17200 to 17300 level to act as an immediate resistance where we have seen call lighting any close above 17300 level would result into a further short covering which might push nifty to even 17500 to 17700 level now coming to a uh, outlook for the bank nifty uh, short covering in the bank nifty futures on friday sharp rise in put call ratio on, ratio on the back of aggressive put writing at 37500 and 38000 levels and long build up by the fis in the index future segment indicates that downside is limited in the bank nifty and one should remain optimistic for the bank nifty uh, uh, with the stop loss of 37500 levels on the higher side 39000 to 39200 level to act as an image resistance where we have seen call lighting any close above 39200 level would result into further short covering which might, which might push bank nifty to even 40000 to 40500 levels for the coming weeks So in conclusion, we can say that the global markets are weak. Sharp moves in global markets can affect the sentiment on Indian markets. Commodities are falling and that's a good news. As commodities fall, the fears of the inflation is also receding. Emerging markets are also getting quite attractive and that can attract a lot of flows. India is a shining star and it is outperforming many large markets. In India, it it pays to, in our market, it pays to be stock specific and smaller stocks are outperforming the larger ones. That's all for this presentation. That's all for this video. We hope you like this video and find the information provider useful. If you have any comments or suggestion, do reach out to us. Thank you and have a great weekend.